Welcome back everybody to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. I'm number 12 and um, this is actually a new recording so I'll have to see what we got done last time. Apparently we have our um, belt locked up. We uh, managed to get some new ones as well. We have some uh, rather interesting stuff over here. We have um, all those pea chicks and chicks and uh, goslings and I think I'd also like some... Oh, we have some ducklings. We even have a pool. That's great. We got our farming set up. We have a butchery set up. We have some stockpiles. We are still on that actually. So next thing is going to be a Woodstock pile. So we're going to place a stone, wood, and a block uh, and a gem stockpile here, and I'm going to do some blocks over here. So we'll see. Give me one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Had to respond to something on Skype. Um. We currently have winter, so there's not much going to be happening. We won't get any migrants in the first winter that is hard coded, so that's nothing we need to worry about. But we still have plenty of things to do. We um, have to cut down some trees. Our farming is not going to be very strong in winter either. We could technically uh, farm here because there is no um, no seasonal change in above ground farming so we can do this all year through. I just don't like it for kind of in character reasons. I don't like to farm in winter. <coughs> it also lets my dwarves focus on um, building up some plump helmets and some dimple cups once you plant those. So that's another thing that we need to, or that I tend to keep in mind here. Do we actually have space for another field? Okay, let's place the dimple cup field here. We don't need it to be as big as the others because dimple cups aren't actually used for much. In the masterwork expansion you can use them to what did you butcher there? Uh, you can kind of use them to create... Um, I think you can cook them or something. But here they are just uh, used to be uh, milled into uh, dye for your, for your clothing. So it's really nothing we uh, need to worry about right away. Let's still build one of those fields here, so it's um, so we have them when we need them. And while we're there, let's also place some of those stockpiles. I want stones here. I'm not going to add wheelbarrows here. We can do that since the uh, Dwarf Fortress 2012 upgrade. You can uh, set that here, you can set a certain amount of wheelbarrows, which will increase the um, the amount of, or the speed at which things are hauled, because dwarves are not slowed down by the weight of the stone that they are carrying. But it seems that only dwarves with wheelbarrows will haul, so they have three wheelbarrows in this um, on the stockpile and uh, that means that you only have three dwarves that will haul things to this uh, stockpile at all. 
it can't really assign more to, to a stockpile, so that's kind of a problem I have with this um, system. Because especially when it comes to stones, I want to have as much area cleared as possible and as quick as possible. So only having three dwarves at any given time clearing out a bit of space is not the ideal solution for me. Dwarves are out of um, non-economic rock. So did we have the jobs finished? Yes, so those are already done. Let's try to get this wall out of the way. I'm not sure how many blocks we have. So let's just... Um, yeah, we're kind of short on blocks, so... What we need to do now is mine out a bit more. Uh, a bit more, yes. What do I want to mine out? And what did we build this wall of? Granite, okay. So, where is granite? Was that granite? Yes, it is. So, we're going to mine out this a bit. Did I start my timer? Yes, I did. <coughs> and what we're going to build here is a barrack. I'm gonna leave um, three spaces here. I'm gonna show you for what very soon. We need five of those, and uh, this will be unassigned. And we'll go with the same on this side. I know this is probably a silly uh, and uh, pointlessly large barrack, and I could do it much more efficient, or I could use my space much more efficient, but I just don't want to. Because, for one, I have so much space on this uh, entire map. I mean, what the hell have I been doing here? I mean, uh, I can show you, I have all those levels down here. And I think the caverns, at least in the other maps I've created, were at like uh, minus... Sorry, minus 40 levels, and we need to dig down there. And I really don't know what I'm going to do with all those levels, and most of them are just going to be blank. So, yeah, I tend to make my fortress kind of or get, have one, one task for each level. So this is going to be the barrack layer, where the military is mostly going to be sta uh, stationed. Or at least where the barracks are going to be. The military is going to be busy elsewhere most of the time. If things work out as planned, they will spend more time defending the fortress entrance than sitting around here. So that's one thing. And we'll also have a lot of stuff going on well down at the caverns, so there are quite a few monsters that will spawn in the caverns and that will need to be dealt with. And I'd rather not have those monsters being dealt with by civilians, because those aren't actually good at dealing with monsters. Well, most of them. Okay, so while this is done, I'll um, create some more rock blocks. And we have a thief who will not have a very good time because he ran into one of our hunters, and those guys are pretty good with those bows. As you can see here, he's been hitting by some steel bolts and. Um, He's been hit by some steel bolts, sorry. And those weren't healthy for him. Yes, I'll do it, but no, so he's mind. bleeding pretty badly. Let's just see how bad he is. 
yeah, extreme pain, so uh, he's probably going to pass out a few times. Boy, uh, that's the civilizations we know of. This will fill with other people, uh, with other civilizations very soon. This is the animal channel. Which of those guys has been fighting? The Cobra, the Ranger, Reen, uh, something. That is not you. It is also not you. Which of you has been fighting this Cobalt? Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to make them kill it. Just so the... Uh, it, it won't uh, annoy other dwarves. Because right now they are close to it and they will... Ugh, an elf thief. I hate this. Um, and they will try to... Yeah, so that thieves out the way. I think we also missed the other one. And yeah, so this dwar is, this thief is dealt with. He would have probably nicked one of our kind of... Uh, one of our wood cra uh, stone crafts or something, so there's n not too much damage those little thieves can do. And then we have something I don't like about Dwarf Waters is that things owned by thieves are still forbidden. And what I just did was I ordered all the things he had to be reclaimed. So we kind of looted the corpse for any weaponry and any other things th the thief had on him. We had to do that. Uh, thieves usually have, I think, you can see, I think he had a copper dagger or something. We got our balls back and he has some clothes, not too many, so it must be kind of good he didn't get to the children because they'd be uh, scarred for life. Look at all this blood. It's amazing. How many things are still in this wagon? Let's see, we still have the copper pig. I'm going to have that moved inside too. So we will build a weapon pile. The weapon is... Uh, let's see, armor pile weapon is P. We'll have that as weapon pile. That as the armor pile. Then we'll make some ammunition pile over here. And finally a block stockpile, which is going to be here. Good. So now everything should be reclaimed from the wagon, and things should be brought inside. We also have two people who don't have anything to do, which is our manager, because there is currently nothing going on he needs to manage. We don't have any work orders, and we don't have any traders or, or things, and he has been... Did we assign him? No, we didn't assign him back to bookkeeper, so we're not going to do that. And we'll tell him to get the, the, our stores sorted out. So we should soon be able to see everything we have in stock. Right now we have pretty accurate counts, at least we should have, so I don't see an issue here. We don't have any question marks over here, so he's not going to ha uh, need to spend much time in his office. But he will have to eventually. Also, why is, is this eagle corpse rotten, or did, do we still have a no, we Oh, it's an echidna. Okay, we can't butcher that anymore, it's rotten, so we won't get that meat, which is a shame, but I guess we can't really help that. Let's see if we have, uh, if we can craft more walls here. Let's 
So that's something to be. Uh, we will make some some progress on this uh, giant uh, anti Lango fence. Although we were lucky. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the story of Boat Murdered. It's one of the most famous uh, succession games in Dwarf Fortress. And uh, people were kind of logging it. It was pretty hilarious. So uh, there were like several people playing it and you... I, I wasn't participating but... Um, they were playing for one in-game year. Then uh, another feed. Then they would stop playing and send the file to send the save game to another player who would then play for one year and then they pass it on. And I think they also named one dwarf after themselves, so I kinda checked when or how long their dwarf would make it and how long their dwarf would last. So and they made they made a uh, a blog out of that, so people could read what has happened in Boat Murdered, and what went on, what uh, caused trouble for all those people. And it was pretty cool. <laughs> it's really hilarious to see how everything started well and then went down the drain. And they had some pretty cool defense mechanisms. Like uh, magma that was used to flood the entire map in case something arrived that wasn't pleasant. I think many goblin invaders uh, fell to that. And I'm not sure if we can pull off such a thing here. It would be pretty amazing if we could, but I'm not sure we get to that point because the magma is, after all, pretty deep down and it's gonna be a pain to get it up here where it could flood the map although I would certainly love to try it. Anyway, um, the episode is over now with spring having arrived and I'm going to end this episode and see you in a moment.